Are you okay? Come on. It's okay, it's okay. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Now, I'm gonna go look at the waves, make sure we have something to take the jet ski out on before I uh, make everybody get out of bed. So, wind is calm, it's beautiful out. Hopefully, it's firing. Let's go check it out. Good morning, Nub Nation, for the dream. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different, but it seems like you guys enjoyed my last video of the Outer Reef step-offs in New Jersey so much that I kinda of wanted to do a follow-up and show some appreciation for how I got to this point with this type of surfing. I put a lot of time, effort, and money, and a lot of my friends have put time and effort into me learning a little tiny bit about this stuff, but I kind of wanted to look back and reflect and share the story of how I got to the point where I was able to do this. You can watch the video and see the fun shine through, but this stuff is, it's kind of serious. So you have to take it seriously and I definitely do and I respect the ocean. Obviously we're never gonna have absolute bombing 30 foot surf here in New Jersey, but situations can still get kind of serious. So hope you guys enjoy the video. I can't wait to keep pushing this for the dream. Yo! All right, I wanna start this video off first and foremost by saying straight up, I am not a big wave surfer. So before you even get started in the comment section below, this video, I'm making it just to share my experience and maybe help people see a little bit more what it's like to just be a normal guy who kind of dived into this situation. So we've been in Oregon all week and the scenario plays out like this. Will is always telling us about the paddle session. We had a safety course on the skis, learned how to do all the maneuvers, get back on the ski after you fall. We learned how to use the tow rope, we towed into some surf, and we were just coming off an epic tow session in the morning. It was literally like offshore wind, perfect conditions, and just the dreamiest scenario you could ever think of for that break. I got two waves that were well overhead, probably in the 20 foot range and I was really, really feeling good about surfing big waves on that day. The forecast said it was gonna be anywhere from 25 to 40 feet. So when I woke up that morning, I was pretty much terrified. Once Will towed me into a couple bombs, I got pretty comfortable pretty quick and that might have been my downfall. So after we got done towing, I was on top of the world, absolutely stoking. And Will kind of looked at us and he goes, well, it's time for the paddle session. I was riding a 10-6 board that I borrowed from Will. So I hopped on the back of the ski, Will dropped me out the back. There's a couple other guys in the lineup. Everyone's stoked. We're kind of like waiting for the swell to build full anticipation. A couple guys are getting ways around me. I'm just feeling out the lineup. You kind of want to start to the side and work your way to the peak because you don't want to just go right to the peak and try to drop in on a 30 foot wave. It probably wouldn't end very well. So I was out there and I was kind of just hanging out, biding my time, waiting my turn. And then there was like this ridiculous lull and I hadn't even caught a wave yet. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get a wave under my belt. I think that 
if I paddle in a one wave anything, it'll make me more comfortable for when the sets actually come. So I moved inside. I'm sitting in here like, I would say 200 feet inside all the other surfers. They're out the back waiting for the bombs. I moved in like 200 feet thinking I could get a small one and get warmed up. As luck would have it, a few minutes after I moved to the inside, this freaking absolute bomb set comes and I'm just stuck underneath it, standing there looking at a 20 foot wave, just asking myself, how in God's name did I get here? All the jet skis are on the side. It's too late, they can't get to me. All the other surfers are out the back. I watched the last guy paddle over the wave and here I am, just a 20 foot set, cresting, looking like it's gonna come down on my head. The only thing that I could do was climb up, stand on my board and dive as deep as I could. I'm in a flotation suit so I can't even really get that deep. Tried to dive, the wave just absolutely pummeled me. Okay, okay, take your time. 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 Will scoots me up. I'm safe. I get back on the jet ski. Will's like concerned. He's like, are you all right? Are you good? Like that was gnarly. You just took a 20 foot wave on the head. I finally catch my breath and do these morning birds are so loud. Yo, get out of here. How was that thing? Head. Kind of a bomb, huh? Yeah, right on your head. I went right on it. Yeah. Dude. Oh. Ragged off city. You okay? Yeah. I feel pretty good. Did you pull? Didn't no. pull. I couldn't find it. I, I did breathe in a little water though. <coughs> yeah. You can see it in your face when you clapped up. Oh, I was scared. Yeah. I saw you. I was like, there he is. <laughs> oh. Thank you. So I, I finally catch my breath and I reposition myself on the jet ski and I'm sitting out there watching sets come in. I'm watching the other surfers catch waves, kind of building my confidence back up. So I finally decided it's time for me to paddle back out. I sit out in the lineup. I'm sitting just as far out as everybody else because I learned my lesson real good. And uh, this set comes. The first wave goes by. Everyone's just paddling out. When these sets come, everyone just starts booking it out the back and they're just trying to get over the horizon so they don't get cleaned up. And a lot of the time, the mission when you're paddle surfing is straight up to just not get cleaned up. The second wave of the set comes, I kind of look to this dude on my right. He looks at it and I can tell he's not gonna go. And I see it standing up perfectly right in the position where I am. So I said, well, it's now or never. If I'm gonna paddle into a big wave and charge, this is, this is it, I'm here. I did all the work and I'm ready to go. So I turned around and this thing's big. This is the biggest wave I've ever seen in real life at this point. We're on a reef, so I, I'm thinking to myself, if I drop in and turn to the right, I'm gonna make it, I'll be fine. So I paddle. Absolute biggest wave of my life. 10-6 is working like a dream. I get into the wave, I'm up, fully bombing down the face, make the drop, bottom turn, and I look up. Oh my God, 30 foot lip, just hovering over top of me. And this thing was throwing so wide, like you can't tell on the video, but if you filmed surfing in your life, you know that everything that you see on video, multiply that gnarliness by 10, and that's the reality of the situation. So in the video, it doesn't look like it barrels that hard, but when I was at the bottom of that wave looking up, that thing was heaving. Biggest barrel I've ever seen. So I said to myself, I'm either gonna straighten out and this lip's gonna crack right on my feet and I'm gonna drown, or I can pull into the barrel and get the wave of my life. I'm slow as hell, because I'm a total big wave grom, but I started bottom turning back up the face, and I had the, I, in my mind, I swear I had a good line, 
but I was coming back up the face and it was almost like slow motion. I was getting sucked up the face, the lip was coming down, and the lip just boom, connects right on my head, sends me flying to the bottom. Deepest underwater I've ever been in my entire life. And I'm just down there spinning. I was looking for my pull straps, trying to pull my inflation vest. And um, I popped up, looked around. Here comes Will on the ski. Will comes in, scoops me up, saves my life. And uh, yeah, it was like a scenario where I, I, I got worked, but I popped right up and I was completely and absolutely stoked that I made it out of that situation alive and looking back on it, I'm 100% amped that I went on that wave. Woo! Yo, what was I thinking? Oh my God, that was a bomb. Why did I do that? At that time, that was the biggest wave of my life and it still might be the biggest wave of my life. Will Scudin claims that that wave at its peak was 33 feet tall on the face. It was a gnarly situation, but uh, that trip and me getting in those two bad situations has pushed me and driven me to continue my interest in this type of surfing. After I recovered from that wipeout, I hopped back on the ski, took five, Will took me out the back, and I got a bunch of good waves. This is pretty much what not to do in 30 foot surf. But the way that I look at this is you have to start somewhere. It's impossible to learn any other way. And everything that I did in Oregon and all the mistakes that I made gave me the capability and the potential to go out and catch bombing waves when I went to Hawaii. We were in Hawaii and I was lucky enough to experience like the biggest swell that they've had in years. I went out with Jamie and Kalani Chapman and because of that Oregon experience, I was able to go out there with a little bit of confidence and actually catch a couple waves. I didn't get the biggest wave of the day, but by my standards, those waves were absolutely fucking huge. So in reality, it only took me two big wave experiences to know for a fact that I needed to get a jet ski of my own. So here we are on a beautiful New Jersey morning, and this is my jet ski. And because of these experience that I've had, big wave surfing and the mistakes that I've made, I've been able to grow confidence and know that when you fall, you can, you can make it out of that situation. And just every time you go out, you learn a lot. But I'm stoked, so huge thank you to Will for the Oregon trip. Huge shout out to Jamie and Kalani for taking me out in Hawaii. I'm stoked. I now have a jet ski of my own and we have been going out and attempting step offs here in New Jersey and just practicing for the dream. So these scenarios of what not to do in 30 foot surf have kind of pushed me to get into this and learn about it. Because I put myself in such bad situations, I wanted to be able to get in those situations and do it the right way. So, hope you guys are stoked on this video. I wanted to do something a little different. Um, we went out on the shoals in New Jersey on the outer bar the other day and we scored. It kind of motivated me to look back and see how I got here and this video is a result of that. So hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're enjoying my vlog, you can subscribe down below by clicking the red button. You can also leave me a thumbs up and a comment in the comment section below. Thank you for the stoke, for the dream. Whew.